Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we set up the stimulus controller for sending requests as turbo stream to the new action of user's resource. And we will use the same stimulus controller for sending turbo stream requests to the edit and show action of the user's resource as well. Now, in this lecture, we will work on another stimulus controller and make it responsible for opening the bootstrap model when user click on new user link or edit user link or view user link. Okay, so let's start. So first switch to the terminal and in the terminal open a new tab and then generate the stimulus controller using generator as rails g stimulus bs model. So rails g stimulus and then bs model. Okay, this will generate a new stimulus controller into app JavaScript controllers and you can find it here. Uh, open the uh, sublime directory, sorry, open the project direct into the sublime or your preferred text editor and here you can see the BS model controller and here you can see how we can connect the this data controller as BS hyphen model. Okay. Now we need to implement methods into this BS model controller. Okay. So first when this controller gets connected to the respective DOM element or where the data controller attribute, uh, sorry, the data controller BS model attribute is defined, then we need to show the bootstrap model. So we need to implement our connect method here. And inside this connect method, what you need to do this dot model model equal to new bootstrap dot model and then this dot element okay and this dot element will be the model element or the html dom element where we will define the data controller attribute with value bs model okay and now once the model is initialized or the bootstrap model is initialized next thing what you need to do this dot model dot save okay and then close this sorry not save it should be show okay and save this now after serving our purpose of bootstrap model i mean once the bootstrap model has been opened and whether you open this for uh, reading the details of users or opening uh, you opened it for submitting the form for edit or new action then after serving our purpose, we need to close this bootstrap model as well. And once the bootstrap model close, we need to disconnect it. Okay, so we need to implement a disconnect method as well. So disconnect. Okay, and then in this disconnect, what we need to do now? This dot model dot hide. This dot model dot hide. Okay. And so our methods for opening and closing the model has been done. Okay, now. We also need to implement a method to hide the bootstrap model once the form submitted successfully. For example, if you open the bootstrap model just for reading the details like a show page of the user, then you do not need to submit the form. But what and you can simply close the BS model close button and the model will disappear and you can you are all set. Okay. But what happens if the model contains the form like edit form or new form or any custom form then after submit model will not close automatically so what we need to do here we need to handle the submit uh, form into the bootstrap model so let's define a method here submit and or submit close whatever name you want to provide and provide the event attribute here and here what we can do this dot model dot hide okay just as the disconnect method and i take the event argument here like if you want to check or if you want to prevent the default behavior of the submit button then you can do this or you can check the success and failure of the event okay so just that's why i added the event attribute into this method okay so our bootstrap model controller has been done okay we all need these three methods only connect disconnect and submit end. okay now one more thing that you need to make sure that after implementing this controller you may you need to make bootstrap available at the window level okay so just open the application.js and here you can see that we imported all the controllers and the bootstrap now what you need to do here you need to add window.bootstrap equal to bootstrap okay and make sure to do this else your model will not open even though everything is working fine but if you forget to do this then your model model will not open okay 
now let's open the application layout and we need to define a turbo frame take element there okay so save the file application.js first and then open the application.layout and here after the yield block will yield block we need to define our turbo frame tag okay so just to do it like a real stick so we will do turbo frame tag okay, and then just provide an id to this element so remote model okay, and that's it now let's discuss in brief about the turbo frames so turbo frames help you to decompose your complex pages into smaller segments you can simply consider these frames as components in react and angular just like react components a page can have multiple turbo frames in rails template okay turbo frames allows predefined parts of a page to be updated on request any links and forms inside a frame are captured and the frame contains automatically updated after receiving a response okay so if you can check in the user model controller that we are sending this response like turbo dot render stream messages okay and we are sending this html as a response so uh, now our turbo frame tag will get that response okay regardless of whether the server provides a full document or just a fragment containing the updated version of the requested frames only the particular frame will be extracted from the response to replace the existing content okay and frames are created by wrapping a segment of the page in a turbo frame element so we defined a frame turbo frame tag here that means we created a turbo frame element and each element must have a unique id which is used to match the content being replaced when requesting new page from the server so this will define a turbo frame element and this remote model will be the id for that element okay now let's see our turbo frame tag into the browser and inspect the page so first save the application.layout and switch to the browser sorry switch to the browser and now refresh the page okay and just to inspect the element and here you can see inside the body go to the container and row class and after the yield statement or after the table you can see that what we are seeing here turbo frame with id remote model okay so this turbo frame tag has added this turbo frame element into the dom and with id remote model so this id is unique and we will use this id to replace the response into the turbo frame and update our page okay now let's create a new partial file into the app views users directory and name this as form model.html.erb dot dot okay because we are going to show our form into the bootstrap model so we need to create a few partials here so go to the users directory and create a new partial file and name this as form model form model dot html dot erb okay and here we need to create the bootstrap model so open the bootstrap 5 site and copy a model script from there so switch to the browser and in the new tab open the bootstrap 5 okay and then go to the components and then models and then copy the model snippet only from there sorry not customize we need to go to the components okay and find the model here okay and in that model you can see that there are multiple snippets but we will copy this snippet okay so just copy this snippet and paste it into the form model okay just paste it and since we will open this model using our stimulus controller that we just generated that bs model controller so what we need to do here we need to add a data controller attribute to this model so our data controller attribute will be yes, let's say data controller and its name will be bs hyphen model and uh, right before writing that name you can verify it here like bs hyphen model okay so just do that okay open the form model and write bs model and save this now just copy the model body and model footer and remove this from this model snippet so just copy this model body and model footer select this and cut from here okay why i'm doing this because this body and footer will be shown in the form now okay and into the model body we will display the form fields and into the model footer we will display the two buttons one for submitting the form and one for closing the model if user don't want to submit the form okay so just to save this and come to the form model okay and here you can see that we already used that so just to paste the model body and model footer here okay 
and now again place this model footer code at the bottom of this form and inside this model body we just need to place our error form errors and the form elements okay so just uh, select this okay and uh, just to move this indentation and just remove this space okay so we done that and now we need to paste our model footer here okay and now just to call, cut this form dot submit and we will use this inside the model footer so just remove that and replace this I paste this button here and we just use the class that is class and btn btn primary and remove this save changes button from this footer now okay save this and now if you remember we defined a method that is submit event into the bs model controller our stimulus controller so now we need to add a data action attribute uh, which uh, will call this method on submit click on or on submit button click okay so just uh, come to the form again and here we need to add a data action attribute and we know that how we can do that so just add a comma here and then data colon and here provide the action name sorry action and then click and then your model name that is bs model and then the method name that is has submit and submit and, and save this so our form has been done we done entire setting like we created the form model partial and we place the model body and model footer inside the form okay now we need to place our model into the turbo frame tag with target at the top the target with the turbo frame tag denotes that where we want to navigate our turbo frame okay so open the form model tab again okay uh, form model partial again and now what we need to do here we need to do let's say turbo frame tag turbo frame tag and then what is our frame name that is remote model okay. and then we need to add a target here just to mention that where we want to navigate our frame okay so target at the top okay. and then just make a block here and into this block just to place this model and just to end our turbo frame tag okay and save this and now into the model content what we need to do we need to our form partial so open the new html sorry yeah new.html file copy this form partial line and just paste this into the model content file save this now rendering of this form means here that we want to render the form partial into this bootstrap model okay so when the model open it will show the form to create or edit the new user okay now one last thing that we need to rename our new action template for users from new.html.erv to new.turbostream.erv okay so you can see that we have template that is new.html.erv so now we need to rename it and we just need to write new.turbostream.erv okay and remove everything existing in this template now save and now we need to serve our turbo frame with the form model partial content so what we need to do here let's say turbo stream turbo stream dot replace and what to replace here so we will replace remote model because remote model is the unique id to our turbo frame tag okay and we will use that uh, turbo frame tag to render the model okay so turbo frame tag do and now what we need to do here just add and sorry and and now in this block we need to render our form model partial that is uh, how we can enter so just use render and then form model form model and then pass a local to it like a user as at the rate user you can see it and now save it save the file and now just check the just verify the form model that whether you uh, rendered the form partial error or not you can pass it the local variable as render form user colon user okay and now in the form we already have the user and we set up the model body and model footer as well okay
now save all the file that we work like form form model and new dot turbo stream dot js and switch to the browser so just go to the browser and to the page where your app is running and now just to close this inspect tab and refresh the browser okay and when you refresh this now click on the new user link you can see that a bootstrap model is showing the form for creating the user okay however we will not create uh, the user in using this form now but we can see that we are now able to see the form for creating user okay so our bootstrap model using stimulus is appearing now okay now let's make few changes into the form so open the form model again and here you can write let's say model lg model lg save this and just add the model title here that is create new user however we will make this title dynamically because we gonna use the same model for editing and creating new user and editing the existing user so we will change this part, uh, title of the model card dynamically but for now just use the create new user and refresh the page again and when you refresh your page now you can see new user that this is the form that we can see in the browser now and if you inspect in the browser let's see what our turbo frame tag is so right now our turbo frame has the target top okay that we did in the form model you can see turbo frame tag remote model target top okay but now the model is not appearing so you cannot do that and once you click on the remote new sorry new user link you can see that uh, the form or the model is appearing into the turbo frame now okay that means our stuff is working right so close the inspect area and close the bootstrap model again here you can close this and you can see that uh, once you click on the new user form is seeing again if the model is not open just verify that you made the bootstrap available at the window level into the application.js for example let me show you that uh, if you open the application.js and if you comment out this line okay and now refresh the browser and try to open the model okay so refresh this and click on the new user you can see that bootstrap model is not opening anymore okay so you just need to make sure that you write this line window.bootstrap equal to bootstrap save this now and now try to open the model again so when you refresh the page and click on the new user link you can see the model so that's all from this lecture now in the next lecture we will work on saving the user record into the database and append a row in the table using the turbo stream meanwhile just try this lecture at your end and let me know if you face any issues so stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe